Here are a couple little tricks related to text formatting in Excel. Let's say, for instance, that you have this label box, velocity in meters per second, and you decide to be a little less wordy, and instead of velocity, you're going to call it V sub X for the X component of the velocity. You can use a subscript. So there's VX, and then I'm going to select that X, just the X, in the data bar up here. And right here, under font, you see that little button there. Click on that. You have various options. You can italicize, bold, you can change the font of single characters, you can change the font size, and we can also make a subscript. So now, here is our label, V sub X, or the X component of the velocity. Secondly, let's say you want to put in another column for, say, the coefficient of friction. You can use Greek letters, and uh, one way to do that is to go to Insert Symbol and find... Uh, the, in this case, the mu for coefficient of friction. Where is that? Here it is. And you say insert. So there's our mu. If we wanted a mu sub s. Now, it is now putting everything in the symbol font. We'll select that s. Go back to the home, select our standard font here. And we'll make it a subscript. So now we have a column uh, for uh, coefficient of static friction, and we can enter the data uh, within this column. So uh, two useful, quick little ways of making your text labels in your Excel spreadsheet look more like uh, how you would write them by hand.